Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Dave. I'm first year medical student here in the Philippines. So for today's video, I just would like to talk about the Commission on Higher Education released just July 1. It is a statement encouraging the medical schools to accept students who have not yet taken the National Medical Admissions Test to be admitted for the academic year 2020-2021. So pag-usapan muna natin, Kung ano nga ba yung NMAT? So, NMAT is the National Medical Admission Test. For me, National Medical Admission Test is there to equalize the grounds kasi lahat ng medical student, iba-iba tayo ng pinanggaling ng school, iba-iba tayo ng degree na hawak. Some are health professionals or health allied related. Some are hindi talaga health allied related. So, sila yung tinatawag na non-traditional or dito sa channel ko, I consider them non-premed kasi meron kasi tayong notion ng premed. So, what is premed? Premed is the degree that you are taking prior going to medicine. Pero, in recent years kasi, health allied degrees are automatically related to premed. Dahil nga, may natatakal na silang sciences or subjects na pwedeng makatulong sa kanila during medical school. Pero in recent years as well, medical schools also accept non-traditional medical students to be part of their student body. And marami rin naman akong naging friends na non-traditional yet nag excel sila sa medical school and some even doctors na sila right now. Ano na ngayon yung statement ng CHED? Many students are now being confused regarding the press release of CHED na for them, ang statement ng CHED, so in view of the postponement of the schedule of the National Medical Admission Test, the CHED authorizes medical schools to admit students who have not taken the NMAT subject to their regular admission requirements. So, sa first paragraph pa lang, makikita na natin na ino-authorize ni CHED ang mga medical school na tumanggap ng mga medical student hopefuls na hindi pa nakakapag-NMAT. Ito yung pinaka- nami-misquote ng mga students right now kasi akala nila inuutusan ni Ched ang mga medical school na tanggapin nyo yung mga walang NMAT. And clearly, sinasabi lang naman dito is authorizes medical schools to accept. And by that, ibig sabihin, pinapayagan namin kayo na tumanggap ng mga estudyante na walang NMAT. Next, this will only be for 2020-2021 because CEM failed to administer NMAT last March 2020 and due to the onset of COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, alam natin to na ang COVID-19 ngayon is isang bagay na sobrang nakaka sa industriya natin right now and maraming businesses and offices or activities na nag-shutdown due to this pandemic. And one of this is the National Medical Admission Test na dapat around March ginanap. So, nag-meeting daw ang komisyon noong June 30 dahil sa mga request ng mga students na gusto mag-medical education pero hindi pa kasi nakakapag-take ng NMAT. Malaking problem to. Pero, may mga medical school kasi na nag-wave na ng NMAT prior to this announcement. Wave means hindi siya pwedeng wala kang NMAT. For the time being na hindi ka nakakapag NMAT, sige, tatanggapin ka namin as part of our student tree, you will go to the application process. Pero, once may NMAT na, you are required or you must be able to take the exam and pass our quota or our percentile cutoff. Kasi, una sa lahat, NMAT is part ng batas and kailangan siyang itake ng mga student, lalo na kapag graduate ka ng medical school. Kasi it is part of the requirement if you will take the physician licensure exam. So, dun yung nagiging problem ngayon ng mga students na for them, magaan na yung pakiramdam nila na yes, wala ng NMAT. Personally, I think NMAT is there for a reason kasi hindi mo magagamit yung mga topics sa NMAT when it comes to medical school and hindi niya magigage yung survivability mo sa medical school. Hindi porket mataas ka sa NMAT, magaling ka sa medical school. Hindi porket mababa ka sa NMAT, mababa ka sa medical school. That's not the case. I think NMAT is there just to level up nga yung, or level the playing field ng mga medical students na it is there para lang pantay-pantay tayong papasok na pare-pareho tayo 
na mag-end math tayo, graduate tayo, ngayon sabay-sabay natin iti-take ng medical school. End math also teaches the student how to prepare for a medical school because you will take a typical IQ exam as it's part 1. And part 2, may 4 subtests siya. So, yung bawat subtest na yun, merong iba-ibang topics na kailangan aralin or kailangan you already have in knowledge about. By that, mape-prepare ka when it comes to medical school na marami kang topics na kailangan aralin for you to survive in medical school. Yun yung siguro underlying factor kung bakit NMAT, I believe, is an important aspect of being a medical student. Katulad nga ng statement ng CHED dito, NMAT is a standardized test designed to upgrade the selection of applicants seeking for the admission of Philippine medical schools. Historically, it has been used to screen qualified candidates aspiring for medical degree as it is a good predictor of aptitude to withstand the rigors of medical program. Pero medyo dito kasi nagko-contradict na siya sa paniniwala ko in my own personal experience. Ako personally, Mataas yung NMAT PR ko, pero pare-pareho lang naman kami nag-struggle sa medical school. Hindi kasi talaga niya ma-gauge yung capability mo as a medical student. So, yun lang naman yung take ko doon. Yun lang naman yung medyo important na part nung statement ng CHED. And balik tayo dito sa post ng CEM na NMAT administration scheduled on last April 26 will be replaced an online version on August 10 to 20. So, isa pa to. Online siya ang NMAT. Pero marami kasi nagtatanong sa akin sa Curious Cat na, Kuya Dave, don't you think that it is unfair for students na nag-take ng legit NMAT, I mean face-to-face -face NMAT, tapos for some na online NMAT, na we will have a risk of, of course, opening notes, ganun. Pero, Nandun na nga tayo eh, nandun na tayo sa ganitong factor ngayon, sa panahon ngayon na nag online classes tayo. I think we just have to be mindful sa sarili natin na hindi naman ibang tao yung niloloko mo eh. Sarili mo yung niloloko mo. And I think if you cheat when it comes to like NMAT or anything, sarili mo yung niloloko mo, it means hindi ka prepared or hindi mo deserve yung kakalabasan na grade doon sa exam mo. So, yun lang naman, and I think if um, you're pursuing a medical degree, you should be able to practice yung pagiging totoo dun sa mga topics na inaaral mo. So, ayun lang, yun lang yung advice ko sa mga mag-online and math. As of this moment, please do prepare for the National Medical Admission Test because it will be your entrance ticket to medical school. Even though online yan or face-to-face -face yan, NMAT is not something to be joke about. I think kasi, personally ha, talaga mahirap kasi yung NMAT. Even though nag-prepare ako ng matagal, sobrang nahihirapan ako sa NMAT. And kung ano mang kakalabasan ng NMAT, dapat maging handa ka and hindi ka dapat maapektuhan masyado na ganito lang yung nakuha mong NMAT PR. Kasi marami pa rin factors na tinitingnan ng mga medical school when it comes to application, hindi lang talaga yung NMAT. It's just one of the requirements na kailangan nila. Hindi naman yun yung only requirement na kailangan nila. So, ayun. It's just a short video para lang mailabas ko and ma-share ko lang sa inyo yung sentiments ko regarding the CHED memo and the online NMAT itself. Ka-clear ko lang ulit na NMAT is not waived. It is just to follow. Kasi as of the moment, wala pang NMAT. Yung mga students nag-aantay and around 9,000 registered applicants ng NMAT nung March pa lang yun. And yung iba, magtitake ta ba talaga ngayong October. If you're just waiting for the NMAT just to proceed medical school, there are a lot of medical school right now that are open and they are accepting students na walang NMAT. Again, hindi po waived ang NMAT. NMAT is just not part of the requirements as of the moment. But you are required to take the NMAT kasi nga, again, part nga siya ng batas and part siya ng requirements for PLE. So, ayun lang. Um, if you have questions, just drop it down or if you have sentiments as well regarding this online NMAT or this CHED memo regarding NMAT being waived as a requirement for the upcoming academic year or this current application season for medical school, just comment down below and see you next time.